What's going on guys, new video today, and this is on a, like a, a gun you can, can use as a prop. Uh, I'm using just my normal light today, but for some reason it looks like the light's literally right there when it's not, it's higher up. I took the um, that off it so you can see it better, so the light shines better. Um, yeah, this video is about like guns you can use as props, and I recently, today actually, saw this. Uh, it's made by Spy Mission, but I think this is a different Spy Mission to all the other ones we usually see. The one that has like Agent 47 on the box. This one's different. Um, BB gun bullets, like or obviously, usually, usually. Um, these are one pound sixty nine, which is really good. These are the type of guns that you get at fairs, and you you spend like eight quid trying to get it, and and you know you fail half the time. But um, yeah, they sell they sell these at Trader Mills, and what I want to tell you about is because he's a the reason I want to tell you about them is because they're really good as props. I'll show you what they look like in the box. That's what it looks like. Um, the artwork's kind of cool. It's got like kind of matrix green numbers and uh, the enemy from System Shock. The first one looks like. Um, the gun looks like a Beretta. The slide does mostly. Uh, and the, I've got the slide lock and they take down and release. Um, and it comes with a small pack of BBs which are okay quality and fine to use with this gun. I bought two, um, just because I wanted two. Uh, they look fairly realistic, I mean the barrel, if you sprayed this black it wouldn't look obvious it's a BB gun because the BBs in that, there's no BBs in, in the actual gun though. If you see the inner barrel is actually inside, so when you cock it you see the barrel, however if the barrel's out it would look like a toy, so that's quite good that it's internal and it's harder to see. Um, some, some unique things about this, um, it has actually some nice stippling on this grip, it actually textured, it feels textured, it's not just there. Uh, another interesting thing is the trigger has a special cuts through it, just like some custom guns do. I mean, um, my WE, which is a high quality metal gun, has cuts in the slide and, well, the slide and the trigger and hammer. So that has that feature. Um, downside to this, as you can see, the screws. Um, something interesting, it says P6 on the slide with some uh, Chinese or Asian uh, symbols on there. Um, but it's a fairly full-size gun. I mean, it's it looks fairly it would look fairly realistic if it was black. Um, I might just compare it to another prop Beretta which I bought. I bought this from Asda, actually. Uh, this was all like green and all that kind of stuff. It comes with a holster. Um, obviously this is this is full size you can see, but this you can really see the, the size difference. But it does have the look of the Beretta on this, um, and uh, yeah, you can really see the differences. I mean, this is like way more money, and it looks fa fa way more realistic to be honest. Uh, apart from the front, um, but for something quite cheap that if you wanted to get for multiple actors, just extras that if you do a shoot in film. Uh, a homemade film and you just got enemies that point at you and pretend to fire and all that kind of stuff these are good easy to throw around they're fairly light I don't think they would break if they fell because they're so light they would hit the ground quite softly but they are quite flimsy and, and easy to use without you know worrying about them breaking and um, a lot of people would laugh about this me, me saying about these for prop guns in films but um, Freddie Wong, which is a, a really popular guy on YouTube, he hasn't done videos for a long time, but he's fairly famous. I mean, he's got he's had a lot of celebrities in the videos. He spoke about using guns in his videos because he does a lot of you know he's done a few videos like Time Crisis and stuff, and he he has like really high really high quality guns like like these air guns that I've got um, for up close, and then like even with optics that cost more than the gun, and then when they got enemies that fall over and stuff, they use cheap guns like this. Very similar, I mean that's that's where it came from really. And another thing, it has a rail on there which you can attach most lights and lasers and stuff, so that's quite good. I'll see if this one fits. There you go, oh, it didn't. Really did. That's the wrong shape, but you can get the idea. Um but yeah, they uh, also work quite well as well. I've shot these a little bit. Uh so let's go and shoot them more. Also, I just want to compare an actual proper BB gun, which is more powerful and made of metal. Um, this is my custom Beretta. This is a spring-powered one. And I just want to compare. You can see it's a lot louder. And I'll just, I'll just show you. I'll fire it um, at the target. 
much louder, much much more powerful, and actually bounces off the target a lot more. So yeah, and then we'll just we'll just use these ones which are like much more cheaper. I mean they're very light and they 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 actually kids could use these and fire them at each other because they don't I don't think they would hurt. They don't hurt at all if you look. They literally don't. You can't even feel them. It feels like someone flicking you. Jammed. That one's out of ammo. Just use this one now. More ammo in this one. Out of ammo. But yeah, it does work quite well for what it is. I mean, it's one pound sixty nine. I mean, what do you expect? It's not like anything special. It it works for what it what what you can use it for if you you know if you need it for custom prop guns and stuff. I mean you can cock it as well in 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 the in in the video and this type of thing. So it is quite a good replica. It's not just a solid piece that doesn't move like a lot of the cheap nasty guns you can buy. Um, and also if you've got kids, you can buy them these and they won't hurt each other with them. Just give them a pair of sunglasses or something. Make sure they don't you know so they don't hit them in the eyes. They'll be fine. It doesn't even hurt when you when you shoot it yourself. So. That's another cool feature you can have these for, and they're very cheap, and you can buy multiple ones. So I definitely recommend them for either a prop or just some kids to shoot with. Other than that, there's not really any more use for them. You wouldn't want to use them in a battle. They don't fire very far, and they're not very powerful, and they're not high quality. 